Hi, I'm Mark Ayler, Sony Global Imaging Ambassador. I'd like to take the opportunity to show you how you can register your favorite group of settings per, for a particular genre, such as action or landscape or portraiture. So the first thing to do is go to um, the shoot mode dial and set up your uh, shoot mode of choice. Here I'm setting up aperture priority for shooting portraits. I'm going to uh, choose the rest of the settings as well, right through the focus settings, uh, auto ISO, auto ISO minimum shutter speed, etc. Etc. I'm then going to go into the camera's menu. Now, once we've gone into the menu, you're going to find uh, on the third page of my A7R3, typically it is found quite close in, in that first menu option there. Uh, we're going to go into the memory. Now, notice that there's three options here. We've got the, uh, the memory, which we're going to use now, but we've also got a recall option above, which is currently grayed out. And it's grayed out for a reason, and we'll, uh, we'll resolve that uh, issue in a short time. We've also got a select media down below and we're going to be using that as well. So I'm going to go into the shoot mode dial first off. I'm going to choose a location uh, for my uh, saved settings, my registered settings. Now typically uh, I'll use the acronym PAL. Uh, uh, one is portraiture, two is action, and three is landscape. Um, now you may only have two of these settings on the camera you're using, but just save the, uh, the groups of settings where you may struggle to get all of the settings that you need to cover a particular genre in a hurry. And that could could be movies or it could be action. So I'm going to save these settings to one. Just press the uh, the enter uh, on the back of the camera, which is uh, the center button in the middle of the wheel on the back of the camera there, and that will register those. So the next time you're shooting, um, say, landscape or action, and then you quickly want to do a portrait, all you need to do is uh, move the shoot mode dial uh, to that number that you've saved them to. Here I'll turn it to number one. Um, if we have uh, turned the, the shoot mode dial to one of the, uh, the recall settings on that shoot mode dial, if we go back into the menu now, you'll see that recall option is no longer grayed out. We can actually go in there. So again, press the, uh, the button on the back of the camera in the middle of the wheel, and then we can go in. Now you'll just get a confirmation of what settings are in uh, one that you have on the shoot mode dial. So this doesn't give you any additional options at the moment but it will allow you to pick up memory settings in the M1 to M4 settings. These M1 to M4 settings are saved on the memory card. Now, if you've reformatted a card, there will be no settings to pick up. Uh, reformatting does remove any saved settings that you save to M1, M2, M3, or M4. Uh, this is a useful thing to uh, remember here. Now, um, you may be thinking, so what value does this have if the settings that I save are very temporary and I'm going to um, proceed and show you how useful uh, these M1 to M4 settings can be. Okay, they're actually great uh, for backing up to the card and then saving those settings uh, to uh, your computer. So if the camera is ever reformatted and you have to start from scratch, or you want to share your favorite uh, shooting settings with a friend who has the same camera, or maybe you're using two cameras of the same model, um, then you can actually set up that second camera very, very quickly. Okay, so let's uh, see how we can do that. The first thing you may want to do is use that third option there and select which memory card uh, the settings are being saved to. Um, if you take out the wrong card and take it to your computer, there'll be no saved settings on that card. Now, typically I'll be setting up um, slot two. That's the top memory slot where the, um, the saved settings M1 to M4 are saved. Then I'll go uh, to the shoot mode dial and I'll pick up my registered settings. Maybe this is the, the action, the portrait settings on number one. And then I'll come over uh, to um, uh, the memory. Okay, I'm pointing to the recall, but I'm actually going into the memory here. Um, and we're going to um, come across, so use uh, one of the wheels on the back of the camera to uh, roll to your right and come over to M1. So I'm saving one to M1 and then I'll press the uh, center button to register that. You'll get a confirmation when you've done that, uh, that it's being saved to slot two. Okay, that's the memory card slot two. 
Now we can come over to the save settings on um, number two and do the same thing. Now I've set the uh, two up for my action. Remember PAL, Portrait Action Landscape. I've set up my number two for action. So um, you'll see that uh, I have a very different group of settings. So it allows me to move between these uh, two very different groups of settings very, very quickly using the recall on the shoot mode dial. So I'll go back into memory. I'll come over from 2 over to M2, press the center button again in order to uh, register those to the memory card. And again, you'll get that confirmation. Uh, that's where they've gone. Now, at this point in time, once you've um, set up your M1, M2, maybe M3 and M4 settings as well, you probably want to eject that um, um, memory card from slot 2, uh, put it in your computer, uh, open up the computer card. Uh, you'll find it in the private folder. I'm not too sure why they call it private, but inside the private folder, you'll find a folder called Sony. Inside of the Sony folder, you'll find the settings folder. Now drag that or copy that uh, setting folder to your computer and keep it in a safe place so that if your camera is reformatted and you have to start setting it up from scratch, uh, you can um, put uh, this setting folder onto a memory card, put it in slot two and then recall them. So the first thing uh, you'll need to remember is you can only access that recall menu if you have one of the um, uh, recall settings on the shoot mode dial selected. Otherwise, it is going to be grayed out again. So you maybe want to follow along here. Um, it's fairly obvious for me, but only because I've done it a few times. So it may not be obvious for you. So you may want to follow along if it's slightly confusing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to the recall option. Uh, now we're assuming that uh, this camera doesn't have any save settings or it has been, um, if we're starting from scratch or you're sharing it with a friend who has the same camera. So we're coming over to the recall. Uh, we're coming over to M1. Uh, we're pressing the center button on the back of the camera in the wheel um, to set up the camera for all of my portrait settings. Um, we're not going to go to the shoot mode dial now. We're just coming back into the menus. We're going to the menu below, which is the memory. We're going to go in and we're going to uh, set that up for one. So we're basically copied what was on M1 over to one. OK, we can do the same thing. We can go back to recall. We can go and pick up the M2 setting. Don't forget to press the, um, the button to uh, select that or enter those. So the camera set up for my action settings. Uh, we'll go back into the menus uh, um, and back into memory um, and then come and set that up for number two. And again, press the enter button um, so that that is registered to two. So what we've effectively done uh, in a very short amount of time is um, taken a memory card and set up our registered uh, custom shoot settings for one, two and possibly three on the top of the camera. So this is a great way of maybe setting somebody up who's unfamiliar with mo the most appropriate settings uh, for shooting action sports. Um, uh, and then you can set up their camera the same as you're using with your camera. Uh, so this is uh, an incredibly useful feature. Just remember, as soon as you reformat slot two, the memory card in slot two, you will remove those settings. Uh, but if you have backed them up to your computer, you can put them back on the memory card after reformatting that card. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Global Imaging Ambassador.